make reservations. Exhaling, breathe, I'm praying for some patience. Proceed, I think I might, I think I'm best of the kind. Don't call me for the light, I want a bright Uh, it's just started absolutely peeing it down with rain. Uh, we're going to take cover for a few minutes. Hopefully, we can get out of the way before the rain will come uh, back again while it's just going to rain. I really want to get that clip, so uh, I'm just going to see if we can cover the camera, guys, uh, and see if we can get this last clip because I really want to get it. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. If we don't make it, you know we've got too wet. See you in a minute. Three, two, one, boom. You got this.
All right, that rain stormed it past through, and I can't remember what trick we did, but we landed some other tricks instead. And I also got a wicked conquer. Um, board's absolutely soaked through, but it fell in the pond the other day, so I'm guessing it probably doesn't make any much difference at this point anymore. Uh, hashtag time for a new setup. Uh, I'm just trying to decide what board I'm going to get at the moment, so uh, watch out for a new setup in the next few weeks. But yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to mosey on down the road. I haven't got a POV because otherwise we do it. We're going to POV down there, into the bottom car park or the middle car park, should I say, over there where I've got another curb spot and oh, we're just going to mess around there for another 20 minutes or so before I completely give up and give home go home completely soaked and not quite defeated but yeah soggy all right guys so put my punk conquer in my bag I'm gonna grab my stuff I'm gonna head around to the next spot and I'll see you there in just a minute <laughs>
again. And let's see, actually, up there we have that blue sky. So I'm gonna try and grab a couple more shots down on the on the curb down there. Ooh, hair in my mouth, extremely sway. Uh, I think I actually managed to land a switch backside 180 there. Let me know if you think I did or I didn't. Uh, it's just a random vlog really and this is just why I love skating in uh, the autumn although it can be quite wet it's uh, usually not normally too hot and you can get quite a lot more done but when the weather gets like this like, this is not the best example of autumn uh, good skating weather anyway we're going to go down to the car park we're going to hit the last couple of curbs spot and sign over and out for another video with me alright guys we're heading on down there 3, 2, 1, let's go
hope I did hope you enjoyed that just a uh, random different video to usual uh, I usually set out a bit of a like mission at the start of each video of what I'm gonna do especially if I'm like skating for you guys and like to do a particular I'm learning this or I'm learning that uh, but today I just thought I'd go out and just have a skate sesh just random have fun just hit some of the spots that I normally hit fall over and bail and slam in all the ways that I normally slam and actually managed to sneak in a few new tricks there too uh, Many people probably are going to be like looking at this getting horrified. Oh my god, my board soaked through. Well, it fell in the pond the other day, so it can't get much worse, can it? Uh, <laughs> the bearings are actually still really good and everything. Everything's still rolling really good, so no problems at the moment. Although I will say this uh, board is nearing the end of its life. We're really uh, eating away at the fly at both ends there and starting to raise a one, two, three, four five with five layers there so we're, we're, we're not got much left on the back end it's been a super nice deck uh so my mission now is actually to find a new one so in the next few weeks i'll have a new setup video for you guys uh we'll be sticking with the eight one two five probably and I've, I've got one board in mind that i do like and i do want uh, finance depending <laughs> depending when I get paid and if that board's still available but yeah so like there's probably a load of people thinking oh my god you're skating in the rain how awful because look okay, where that is well of course, first thing is this is not a new board. This board is like nearing the end of its life. Secondly, I live in the UK, uh, England, uh, more importantly, like not far from Wales, where it's still like quite hilly. And in this area, it does rain a lot all year round, but particularly in the autumn and the winter. So uh, if I didn't skate when it rained, like I probably wouldn't get to skate like half as much as I do. So I just resigned to the fact that probably most people do who live in a wet area, that your board is going to get trashed and it's going to get waterlogged and probably lose its pop like super quick. Uh, I really have enjoyed this uh, revived board. Just a nice mellow concave. Do like that. There's a bit of concave to it, but just just enough, but not too much. I really enjoy the shape. I find it really fun for like slappies and all those type of tricks, as you can see as well. But yeah, a good bit of fun. Uh, I hope uh, to join you guys in the next video. Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff coming up in the near future. And hopefully we'll be getting down to the skate park as well, because I've got a brand new series set up, uh, Amputee Adele's Road to Transition. Uh, uh, somebody, one of my comments the other day, I'll put you down there, suggested actually that ball skating might be a really cool idea for me in some transition. So, uh, yes, you're absolutely right. That is totally on my like bucket list. I really, really want to learn to drop in. That's like seriously like, uh, and I know of uh, at the skate park up by me, if I say up by me, a few miles away, uh, that is usually full of scooter kids and kids learning to ride their bikes. Uh, <laughs> It's hard, it's hard work up there. You've got to get a certain time of day. You can't even go early in the morning because they're like preschool kids, so they don't go to school, so they're there like always. So, like, it is pretty tough. It's actually easier to contend with rush hour like uh, scooter kids and skateboarders than it is with the Learning to Ride Bicycle Club. I'd love to know actually in the comments below if anybody around by uh, where you live, wherever it is in the world, do you find that people are taking their kids to skate parks to learn to ride pedal bikes? And we're talking about really young kids now, and I'm not being uh, judgmental whatsoever, but these are kids that have no spatial awareness because why would they? They're riding away in their own world, they're literally just learning to ride a bicycle, and a lot of them haven't even got pedals, so they're just like the push ones. And the next thing I know, the kid's like being pushed down like a four foot like flat bank, and it's like, hmm. I don't really think this is a suitable place. Yes, they might have helmets on and all the rest of it, but it, it, skate parks are definitely not a place for kids to come and learn to ride their bikes. Definitely not a place for kids of a certain age. And even if you like learning to, to skate, like I, I've stayed away from the skate park since I've been stand-up skateboarding because I knew I just really wasn't like good enough and I just get in the way. So I've been practicing flat land, practicing just like little street spots like this, and and that's been giving me my practice and my uh, sort of technique and helping me build on my skills. So now nine months ten months into my skating as a stand-up skateboarder with crutches uh and one leg that uh you know i'm ready possibly to start to heading into the road of transition so please look forward to that one coming very soon uh, also got but yeah the next couple of weeks i should hopefully have a new board for you guys and we'll do a new setup video and hopefully go and shred some more i've uh, also got another little diy video coming up very soon similarly related to what we've been doing today I've never actually done it before, so I'm um, not properly like this, so I'm hoping you, you guys will join me for it. I've got a mysterious parcel, which I'll show you guys in that video, and that's going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be in that video. Anyway, I'm gabbling on too much now, you really don't care. So now that I'm completely soggy uh, and soaked through, but man, I uh, just want to say this super quick. Uh, on days like today when you've gone out and like you've hit some tricks that you were trying to do, whatever you, uh, like it doesn't really matter like how good you are on skill level at the end of the day if you feel like a skater in your heart and you feel like you're, oh i just felt so free and like when i land those tricks it's just like oh it's such a great feeling though sometimes that body mind connection is just like it's just something i can't get through anything else 
than skateboarding. It's a total flow zone thing. And sometimes you'll get those days where you get to the flow zone and it does feel so cool. And when you're in the flow zone, the, the coolest thing about it is you don't actually have to think because when you're in the flow zone, everything comes instinctively. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, if you uh, like what you see here, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe notification bell. I've got videos coming out twice a week at the moment, Wednesdays and Fridays, Wednesdays 8 p.m. And sorry, sorry, Wednesdays and Saturdays, Wednesdays 8 p.m. and Saturdays at midday uh, UK time. Anyway, if you like what you see, smash that like button, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I drop a video. My name's Ampati Adele and I'm just a 34-year-old uh, learning to relearn to skateboard with one leg and two crutches. And I really appreciate all the love from you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching. Your love means everything to me, keeping me going and keeping this channel going. And uh, yeah, big things coming hopefully for 2022. I can't actually believe I'm saying that. It was like 2020, like two years ago. Also, if you know anybody who also likes the idea of watching uh, an amputee girl doing skateboarding, don't forget you can share these videos with your friends and families and maybe even your enemies. Uh, all the music in these videos is provided by Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound Create uh, have got awesome uh, online uh, an online library uh, catalogue of fantastic music you can use for your edits from any genre you can think of, plus special effects to curated playlists um, and all that and much, much more. If you like the music in this video and you think, oh, I need some music for my video, click that referral link down below for Epidemic Sound. You can also uh, buy me a coffee, donate to me, uh, buy me a coffee if you fancy supporting this channel and all the little bits and bobs that go into it. Uh, the, the, the link for my buy me a coffee is down below. Uh, and that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. One love. Worry less. Skate more. Don't forget, everybody. You got it. Peace. Yeah.